We want to thank you for coming to this very special ceremony on the enrollment in the Scapular Confraternity, the Brown Scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, truly the largest confraternity in the Catholic Church. A good definition of a sacramental can be found in our book on number 34, our Litany of Thanksgiving, number 34 in our Family Consecration Prayer Books. And if we go to the third to the last paragraph in that section 34, it reads, you have given us many sacramentals, such as the brown scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Let's read that together now slowly and meditate on these words. You have given us many sacramentals, such as the brown scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, to remind us of the spiritual realities that affect our lives and to properly dispose us for the reception of special graces you want to confer on us. And I think this is important, the, to know the difference between a sacramental, which there's so many in the church, holy water, medals, rosaries, and a sacrament. A sacrament is instituted by Christ, one of the seven sacraments, and grace is infused in us through the power of the sacrament itself, depending on the disposition of the recipient, naturally. But a sacramental really disposes us to receive graces, as we said in this meditation, to properly dispose us for the reception of special graces God wants to confer on us. And the brown scapular is really Mary's habit. It's Mary's uniform. The miraculous medal is a medal and a sign of our consecration. The scapular is also a sign of our consecration, but is our habit. And it is tied into a very powerful communion of saints, source of reparation, source of grace for all of us. When we join the confraternity, we join together with millions of others that have pulled together their merits, and this really does spill over into everyone that joins. Let us now go to two renowned experts on the Brown Scapular, Father Howard Rafferty, at the time of this recording, was natural, national director of the Brown Scapular Confraternity and uh, Mother Immaculata St. Anthony, a Carmelite hermit. Let's listen to Father Rafferty. Yes, one of the difficulties that I found in talking about the scapular and uh, when I'd visit the late Carmelite communities, uh, people would ask, did Our Lady say anything in recent times about mm -hmm. the scapular? So I'd refer back to the fact that in the last vision at Fatima, she came dressed in the habit of Carmel. Mm -hmm. uh, she was holding the infant in her left arm, as right. we always picture her. Mm -hmm. And she was holding out the scapular. And I said, now that's one of the conditions of the scapular message and uh, the message of Fatima. And really the sign of consecration to the Immaculate right. Heart of Mary. Mm -hmm. Well, people would say, uh, Lucy hasn't said anything about that. Uh, we don't think uh, that's one of the conditions of the Fatima message. There are only four conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what I did was go to Fatima with the permission of the Carmelites uh, uh, leading a pilgrimage and interviewed Sister Lucy. Now that's not easy and, because uh, not many people are allowed to uh, that's right. to talk to Sister Lucy. Right. I mean, it's, that's a rare privilege. Well, there was uh, the Carmelite in charge of our, our uh, center in Lisbon mm -hmm. who uh, made the arrangement for me to see her. Mm -hmm. And I saw her in the convent at Coimbra right. where she's a cloistered nun. Mm -hmm. And uh, I asked her in that interview if uh, Our Lady had appeared as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Well, she said, yes, Our Lady came. Well, how did Our Lady appear? And uh, she thought a moment and she said, she looked like the picture in the hmm. parish church. Hmm. And I had already visited the church at Algestrel. Mm -hmm. And it's Our Lady over the purgatory. I see. Uh, this this and, picture uh, that you showed me here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it has... Uh, so again, she's reiterating uh, the, the doctrine, the dogma of purgatory that we're talking yes. about, too, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I said, well, what did Our Lady mean? Well, she said uh, Our Lady meant that we should wear the scapular. Well, I said, how, how do you know that? Because mm -hmm. people were asking me the same question. She said, uh, looked at me, you know, I being a Carmelite, too. Uh, she said, Father, I saw the Blessed Mother. Mm -hmm. And I know what she meant. 
she held out the scapular but said nothing. Mm -hmm. But she said, when someone holds out something, it means you should take, take it. what right. they are holding mm -hmm. out. So she said, I consider it to be one of the uh, one of the necessary conditions of the Fatima message. Mm -hmm. The sign, really, of consecration. Right, of consecration. And I asked her on that occasion, one of, there was a Franciscan with us, and uh, different ones were saying, when you get in there, write, uh, write down to ask her this question. Right. So I, I had a book full of questions. And, <laughs> and uh, I, I said, uh, here, here's a question that uh, Father so-and-so, the Franciscan, asked me to ask you. And it, it doesn't seem right that I should ask you in mm -hmm. this moment. Uh, and uh, I said, it, it says, which is more important, the saying of the daily rosary or the wearing of the scapular, a sign of consecration? And uh, she looked at me and smiled, and she said, the rosary and the scapular are inseparable. Inseparable. Well, that's a beautiful and, way to put yes, it. Yes, really uh, as far as the Fatima message is concerned. Now, Father, what was the, the specific promises that Our Lady then made? Uh, well, the that whoever would die wearing this mm -hmm. garment would not uh, see eternal fire. Mm -hmm. Now, Father, Otherwise, isn't there the... some implication in those words that the Church has uh, recognized? Because on the surface, it would seem as if it would either be superstitious or false. Because mm -hmm. if I just simply have to wear a scap here, then I can wear it and do whatever I wish and die and be assured of salvation. Yes. Well, we, uh, of course, uh, uh, have affirmed again and again with the Church that it's not a superstition, that when one puts the scapular on, there's also the obligation of imitating the virtues of the Blessed Mother. And, and uh, we always say, well, the prayers of Mary will be with her children. And she'll see to it that the individual who wears the scapular will die in God's grace. The scapular was like an apron they put over the habit. And the order of Carmel was known to be Mary's order. Mm -hmm. So. She gave it to Simon Stock at a time again of crisis. The order was falling apart and ready to disappear. He asked her for a sign. She came with a sign that meant, this is a symbol of my protection of the order, not only of the order, but of all who will wear it. In other words, everyone who will wear the, my clothing will be my child mm -hmm. and will have my special protection. Not only my special protection, but they will be able, through my presence, to grow into my grace, my immaculateness. And <coughs> there's a lot more development yeah. in that. But in, within the order, we have always thought of it as really wearing the presence of Mary when we put on our scapular in the morning. We were clothing ourselves with Mary's own clothing. We were putting on the presence of Mary as if she was wrapping her arms around us. And the church then has made it a sacramental sign.